hi everyone welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for watching and for supporting if you're new here my name is Nia and today I wanted to share with you my experience of going to community college before transferring to a four-year university so if you're looking to explore your options before coming to the US if you're looking for another route to get into the US then this is your video so i went to broward college which is a community college in florida fort lauderdale before i transferred to the university of south florida in tampa florida and it was one of the best things that i did in terms of my academic journey i heard of broward college because my cousins went to that school before they transferred off to university and so my uncle told me about it and they came to a career fair at the Hyatt in Trinidad and they told me you know you can be there for the spring at that time it was the fall of 2019 and by spring 2020 I was in the US starting my degree so one of the things that I think I enjoyed and of course my parents <laughs> enjoyed about community college was that I got to save a little bit of money before transferring to a four-year university so um, typically community colleges are a little bit less expensive than four-year universities so I was able to save hundreds of dollars per credit um, per semester for um, other things and save up to transfer to go to a four-year university and I got a really good education there um, I think one of the things that is a myth about community college is that the professors are not as good and of course there are bad professors at every university but a lot of community college professors have jobs at four-year universities also and they're doing both simultaneously so they are just as good just as informed and I actually had some really great professors that are still supporting me and I can still reach out to at this point of my academic career so one I was able to save a lot of money while still getting a good education and one of the reasons why community college was an option for me and my family was that you know in the American education system the first two years are general ed courses so for example it doesn't matter if you're a finance major or a business analytics major or whatever major in the business realm as long as you're in the business realm all business students do the same two years of courses um, for the first two years of your degree basically right so I was able to just do those general courses public speaking English some simple um, accounting classes and business classes and then move forward to a four-year degree so I was able to save some money right another benefit is that it really gave me the opportunity to adjust to the American system and get that one-on-one -on -one attention that I really enjoyed because classes were so much smaller than a four-year university I did not go to a class that was more than 20 25 30 students ever in my community college career and what that allowed me to do was to be able to differentiate myself, to be able to be mentored by some professors. They gave me opportunities that they saw and they found at the school and outside of the school. They knew my name. They were able to speak to me. I was able to speak to them about my career. Um, they wrote recommendations for me for so many things. They gave me advice. They gave me guidance. And that's all because they had the bandwidth to do so, you know, because the class wasn't 100, 200, 300 students right so I was able to really connect with those professors and because of that I had opportunities and resources that I probably would not have had if I went to a four-year university from the beginning you know so that's one of the pros of going to community college right another major pro of going to community college before i transferred to a four-year university was i did not have to do sats i did it because I, I wasn't necessarily completely um 
aware of all the procedures and that kind of stuff so i did do sts and i did do well but i only needed my cxc results to get into community college and um the way that community college is set up is that they don't reject a lot of people at all so if you apply most likely you're gonna get in at least from that's my understanding so i got in with seven ones and a two and i was able to start my degree then and there i did not have to do form six i did not have to do sats um and i was able to start my degree right <laughs> so that is that was a major plus another pro was that you know sometimes applying as a first year student to foyer a foyer university it can be um competitive right there are a lot of people with a lot of accomplishments from high school with amazing gpas amazing grades amazing experience and sometimes you can get overlooked right um and that that's that's just a fact sometimes you can get overlooked but in me transferring to foyer university it was a little bit less competitive because a lot of people apply through first year not necessarily tr through transfer and also i had some college experience that they really valued for example at broward i was chief of staff of student government for the central campus and i did instagram lives on the school's page i did um speeches and presentations i actually did one for the board of trustees of broward college i met the president he told me that i could come to his office anytime you know so those things i was able to write about my involvement in school and i think that kind of gave me an edge in transferring to these four-year universities and just for reference i got into georgia state i got into ucf uh, that is University of Central Florida, USF, which I'm at now. I got into Rutgers um, and University of Miami. So it was really a plus to be able to show them, okay, if I come to your school, I'm going to be just as involved, probably even more than I am right now at my community college, right? So while there are so many pros of community college, there are also some cons. Most community colleges are commuter schools. So that means you're gonna have to find accommodation off campus. The reason why community college worked for me was because I had family close by, so I was able to stay with them and get to school every single day. In Florida, I don't suggest that you go to community college without having some way to get yourself to and from school apart from public transport because public transportation in florida is not as accessible as somewhere like new york or anywhere else um community college in new york should be pretty easy you jump on a train and you get there um so that would be a great option um but yeah uh, it's most community colleges are commuter schools so you have to find some way to get to school every single day another con was that I was not necessarily aware when I first got into community college or I had not decided yet what four-year university I wanted to go to afterwards um, but I think that if I had made up my mind about that before I got to community college it would have made a lot of things easier because um, there are certain prerequisites based on the institution that you want to transfer to that you have to complete before being able to transfer right for me, I had to do like some accounting classes and so on in order to transfer into USF to do business analytics. Well, at that time it was finance, but now it's business analytics. Um, so I, I think it would have just been helpful to have that set plan from the beginning. Okay, I'm going to spend one year at community college and then transfer to USF and make that plan with your academic advisor so that you make sure you're doing all the prerequisites that you need and you're not you know wasting time doing classes that you don't necessarily need to transfer and you can do it at a four-year university if that makes any sense so um what happened was when i was ready to transfer i think i was ready to transfer like after three semesters and then i realized oh crap i need one more prerequisite to be able to transfer to most of the four-year universities that i wanted to transfer to right so i did another semester at broad college finished off that prerequisite it was just one class and then i transferred to a four-year university so make sure you have a plan, make sure you know what it's gonna take for you to get into uh, the school that you want to go to and everything should be fine. Okay, final thing that I wish I knew was that 
transfer deadlines for four-year universities applications that is and first year students applications are different sometimes they are earlier sometimes they are a little bit behind and you have more time but make sure you have that down pack okay as we truly say down pack <laughs> make sure you have that down pack because you know you don't want to miss any deadlines you don't want to miss any scholarship deadlines um, and also not all four-year universities give scholarships to transfer students for example Georgia State University did not give any transfer student scholarships all the other colleges that I applied for did um, so just make sure that you do your research and make sure that you have a plan i think i think that's a re reoccurring theme here have a plan because deadlines could pass you by and you're not sure because you mixed it up between first year students applications deadlines so just make sure you have everything written down and that you're sure of when you need to apply in order to get scholarships and if that school offers scholarships to transfer students, right? So guys, I hope that this was informational. I really enjoyed my time at community college. I made a lot of great connections with professors. It was short-lived because COVID kind of just took over and I did a lot of it online. But still, I had an amazing experience and it really helped me to be ready, you know. So send this to a student that is thinking about their options after CXC or just thinking about what they want to do for higher education and comment, like, subscribe, keep in touch. I want to hear about you guys, who you are, who's watching and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye.